It's Monday Night Basketball at the KFC Yum Center in downtown Louisville. Game night programs, $5. About 21,000 fans brave the frigid temperatures to see tonight's game between Louisville and visiting Morgan State University. When Louisville wins the opening tip, the crowd goes wild. It's a great night for college basketball, and there are only a few people in this building who know just how close this game came to not being played. It's Sunday, the day after Christmas, and at 6.30 in the morning, the Morgan State basketball team leaves its Baltimore campus by bus to BWI Airport. It's cold outside, but the skies are also clear. The team expects an uneventful nonstop flight to Louisville. At an airport jam with post-Christmas travelers, it takes two hours for Morgan's traveling party of 25 to check in and clear security. The group has no clue that the worst of their travel day is in front of them and not behind them. Now, your 11 inch to weather plus forecast. So, snow and wind in our forecast, east of us 6 to 12, west of us 1 to 6. Finally got to the gate, and they say, hey, your flight's delayed. And we're kind of like, <sighs> I went to go get a coffee and noticed the, the flight board. And all the flights are canceled on the board. And I'm thinking, you know what, if this flight doesn't go, we can't get on anything. There were no reports of bad weather in Louisville, but school officials there are concerned as they monitor the East Coast forecast. Our operations guy and myself had just kind of got together and said, hey, have you heard anything from Morgan State? We saw there's a lot of weather going on in the Baltimore area. And uh, about that time, he got a call from, uh, from a member of their staff saying that they were in the airport and all their flights had been canceled, and we were like, oh boy. Mid-major programs like Morgan State receive guarantees on the road against major programs like Louisville. Some mid-majors have reported receiving guarantees approaching $100,000 for a single game. Those guarantees help sustain the budgets of smaller programs. In not showing up for the game, Morgan could have incurred a large penalty. In the contract, we don't make the game, it's $100,000 the university has to pay. Um, so it's make the game. And Louisville was intent to make the game happen. Basketball games are huge events for Louisville. And that's even more so since the $238 million Yum Center opened on Louisville's downtown waterfront. It's a big event. I mean, every game that we have is a big event. There's a lot tied into a game. You know, you've got 22,000 people here at this arena, uh, but you've got television, you've got so many you know, radio, you got all the other aspects of the game that are built around that game. I'm sure a lot of people may have given tickets to this game for, for Christmas or something. So you, you try to try not to mess with the game. After Morgan State coach Todd Bozeman was told at BW Airport that the earliest he might be able to fly out would be on Monday afternoon, a risky maneuver for a Monday night game. He relayed that information to school officials at Louisville. Right then it just kind of hit me. <laughs> I'm going, wait a minute. But I could tell from Todd right then that he was frustrated. And, you know, it's not fair to Morgan State to say, hey, we need you to be here. Find a way to get here. I said, let me make some calls just see if it's even a possibility that maybe we can get a, a plane in there to help get you out. I've never had that, that happen before. I actually expected them to say that because, because they, I knew they wanted to play the game. They probably would have lost more money had they not played the game than had they played the game. So Miller put in motion something that the athletic department at Louisville had never done before. He arranged for a 30-passenger charter plane to pick up the Morgan State team in Baltimore on Monday morning and fly them to Louisville in time for that night's game. We really appreciate it because we want to play the game just as much as they want to play the game. So we really appreciate them sending a the flight out. Um, hopefully we play good tonight. We just trying to get this win. You know, when you come into a place like Louisville, you know, you got to be ready to play. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're going to do our thing, get the W, and we're going to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? You already know. After taking care of the travel logistics from his vacation in Florida, Kevin Miller was relieved once he found out that Morgan State had arrived in Louisville safely. I text one of the assistant coaches. I said, look, we've done our part, and you all take care of the rest of it tonight. Shortly after tip-off, the sharp shooting by the Louisville Cardinals begins early. And often. By the end of the night, the 22nd ranked Louisville Cardinals have shot an incredible 73% from three-point range on the way to an easy 107-74 victory. The fans filed out of the arena, happy to have enjoyed the new building and another victory for their Cardinals. 
and the few people who knew what it took to make the game happen were able to breathe a sigh of relief. I was in the place I go exercise, and they were all talking about the game, and you know, none of it was about, oh, that game almost didn't happen. It was satisfying, and I hope Morgan State, I hope they enjoyed, you know, playing in front of the, in that kind of environment, because to me, it's the best environment in college basketball right now. For AOL Fan House, I'm Jerry Bembry.